and then make sure you get all the out. Please welcome Selena Gomez. Hey, Selena. Hi. Look at you being all serious actorly like and all that. I'm trying. I'm trying. Good for you. That's a great and a great project to get Thank involved you. with. Too. We'll talk about it in a minute. But you've been uh, uh, through so many changes since I saw you last. New label, new manager, um, and a uh, new house. New first house. house I've ever owned. By your, my, you're by living myself. alone now. Yeah. Or do you have a roommate? Um, yes. My, one of my best friends from Texas. Okay. So, and that must be liberating. It's good. Yeah. I could like, you know, walk around naked now and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you live alone. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's why you pay a mortgage. That's right. Um, no, but so, so what is the, the most exciting thing about living alone? Honestly, I, I, I just enjoy not being able to have to check in all the time because my mom is the sweetest ever. So even now she checks in on me because she's like, I see online you're here. Are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine, mom. I promise. But I think that's the best thing is just being able to go into my own space and it just be mine. And have the house. You can walk around, get up when you want, do what you want. Yeah. You're a creative person. You probably yes. play music and paint write. Paint and... everything. It kind of looks like a little Moroccan. You paint? Thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you good? No. Oh. <laughs> But it's therapeutic, right? Yes, it is. Do things like that. It's very fun. And I heard uh, Jared Leto was here not too long ago, and he went. It's the greatest thing. It's the biggest extravagance, but the most fun to get a boat and go out and yes. and travel that way. And you did that for your birthday, right? I did for my 22nd birthday. I went with my best friends, and we had this. We got this little fun boat, and it was. Well, just, it was bigger than that. Well, but, yes. <laughs> but I saw a picture of you jumping ah, off. Yes. That is very high up. It was very high. And how, how did you have the nerve to jump? Super flattering, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, there, there I mean, really, moments. that was, like, that's brave of you to, to jump oh, that. No, honestly, it was really fun, and I, I've had the best birthday, so. Yeah. And Taylor Swift supposedly is talking, trying to talk you into, now that you got your own house here, she wants you to move to New York. Yes, she wants to kidnap me. She's been begging me every time I get on the phone to move to New York. Because it's been a really good thing for her. You know, we've been friends for seven years, and she really feels like she kind of stepped into her own and became a woman there. And she's like, all right, your turn. Now, come on. And I was like, all right. So I feel like I might eventually, but not right now. But you really have doing, been doing a lot of work on yourself, and yes. if you if you reassess yourself, which I think is good for everybody to do every year, just look at yourself and go, how am I doing? How, how am I growing? Right. One to ten, where are you right now? I'm a seven. You're seven? Yes. That's good. Yeah, I know this year has been, you know, I just, I feel like I have been doing this so long that I think people tend to forget that, you know, they're all like, be yourself, be yourself, and I'm... I'm still trying to figure out who that is, mm -hmm. so I know I'm not perfect, but I know that I have a lot of people that support me and love me, and I don't know, I don't want to let anyone down, so I just, I try to be the best I can be, and it's awkward being 20 in our 20s. Well, and growing up in front of everybody, being 20 is awkward any, any time, much less in front of the public eye and everybody photographing everything you do. Yeah, but that's when I get to do amazing things like, like use my platform for things like UNICEF or kind of just shift everything into what's important and what actually matters in the world. So that's my plus size. Well, at, at, at 20, that's, a, that's an important thing to realize at this age. All right. We have to talk about this movie. It's, uh, we don't want to give anything away, wh what, it, what happens. It's basically Billy Crudup is, is, it's a journey telling it from a father's point of view who lost his son and he tend to pick work over spending time with him and he loses his son. I play his son's girlfriend so I have to deal with a whole other set of issues and it's really emotional, it's so beautiful and Bill Macy is one of the nicest human beings in the world and yeah. he worked so hard on this movie. He so directed it, right? He directed yeah. it and he starred in it yeah. and honestly it, it just, it's a really touching story. I was like parents and kids, everyone should go see it. Well good for you, it, it's a great project to be involved with and, and I just, you know, I love you, and I, I just support you in every way I can possibly support Thank you. Thank you. And um, good for you for continuing to work on yourself. That's, Thank you. It's hard to do, and good for you. Uh, Rudderless opens in theaters and uh, video on demand October 17th. We'll be back with Pink.